morning we're on an intense mission trying to stay with the Inweti male. He is an enormous dominant male leopard way down in the south and he is marching around looking as though he is very keen to find something to eat going from termite mound to termite mound. It's a very cold, blustery morning with a lot of wind. So he is now just going from each mound to mound, hoping to try and find, I presume, a warthog still in the burrow. That's just waiting for the day to warm up. You can see the wind's picking up. So he's now just walking around behind me there. There is a large termite mound in front of us here. So I wonder if he's gonna come and see if there's any warthogs in this mound that are just hunkering down, waiting for the day to warm up a little bit. He's on a serious mission this morning. He's gone past numerous termite mounds that have got a burrow excavated into the side and look as though they've been used by warthogs. However, he can obviously hear that there's nothing inside there, and so he thinks it's not worth wasting his time there. And he just kept going mound to mound to mound, stopping, scent marking all over. Because he's covering so much ground now, it's ideal for him to then also scent mark and essentially re-establish or ensure that his territorial boundaries are marked out so that if any intruders came through the area they would definitely smell that this territory is occupied. And I think we've just got the golden shot now. As he walked past a mound, there was a big dead tree there. And he then stood up on his back legs and was clawing away at the tree, scent marking, rubbing his face on it. And I definitely think that was the shot of the day. But I mean, how can you complain with a huge, dominant male leopard like this walking through the grass? It's just unbelievable how well he blends in. You can see with all the grass drying out and things turning tawny brown, his spotted coat or rosetted coat just blends in so well to the surroundings right now, making it very difficult to keep track of exactly where he's going. He's walking into a bit of a thick area now and so we might not be able to stay with him for too much longer. 
we'll see if he stops at any more termite mounds to try and hunt then we'll stay with him otherwise if he goes into some of the thicker vegetation we're going to let him be and hope he has a successful morning mission either hunting or on a territorial patrol but i hope you've enjoyed this little catch up with the Nweti male who's one that uh, is certainly very dominant down in the south or in the southern parts of Londolozi. So subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Like this video, drop a comment below and let us know what else you're wanting to see and we'll see you all again next week. But thanks for watching.